Hey guys, Rusty Miner coming at you. Tonight we are looking at the Kubi Carve. Now I've wanted a Kubi Carve for the longest time and I came across the deal on slickdeals.net. I'm not doing a commercial here. Uh, one of my viewers turned me on to that and his initials are MF. I don't know if he wants to be known. Anyways, 30 bucks. It was 50% off at Knife Global. So $30. Uh, now they do have select ones. It had to be this tan, I think, which is pretty cool. I'm okay with tan. I'm going to try to dye it. I'm going to try going to gray. I'm not going to talk a lot about the Kubi car because it's kind of on the, you know, had its time, if you will. But we will take a look at it. One thing I'm excited about, I only see two screws to take it apart so we will see it's got a little bit of a double clutch so uh let's see next time you guys see it probably be another color and we're inside how's that for a color change you guys might not even know it's the same knife uh dyed it in charcoal gray uh turned out pretty good um you can still see the layers of G10. And I want to mention, when you're getting the carve, I, I think they came out with another version that doesn't have this contouring here. It's got this contouring up here, but not here. But anyways, it's nice. It almost looks like my Carta. And I think that's, that's nice. We've got the fuller on the blade. It's D2. We got a belly on this blade. If you guys can see that little curvature uh, with the transition point and makes that tip kind of a short uh, tonto, if you ask me. But, you know, when we're here, you don't have to crank it up a lot to get that. You got that uh, transition point, which is nice for cutting, because if you want to use that tip, look at where you got to do. Uh, now, when I took this apart, it was pretty slimy inside there. So, you know, this one came, I believe, from Knife Global. As I mentioned, slickdeals.net. And um, I don't remember how long it took. Just a couple of weeks, I think. And it was slimy. Maybe even a tad of rust in there. And I took it apart. And it does have only two screws here. And that's a lanyard pin. Let's see if I can get that. But when I took it apart. It was slimy. Uh, dyed it, put it back together, and now, once I get that path, oh, geez, fantastic action. Um, and I love the sound of that detent. Boom, boom. So, I dyed this knife, you guys are familiar with 122, in the same color. Came, this one was jade, and this one came tan. And that's what we're looking at in terms of different dyes. So rip dye, charcoal gray. I need a clip for this. It's on the way. And the rip dye, same dye. Okay, what are we going to compare this to? Well, there's only one really strong competitor. And that's the Civivi Brazen. So when we take a peek at these, we've got both Tantos, they're both D2, they got both have G10, uh, they got multiple deployments, and this one, guys, is one of my favorite fidget knives. It's got the, you know, push button, it's got a light switch, and you can hear that action. It's like a machine. Finger flicking, whatever you do. Now this one must it does have a thicker grind and it didn't come sharp uh, but that's the uh, what you're looking at the blade profile you got the top wedge there's your plunge grind down here i'm getting a little smile could be my fault good thumb stud access and you can see the ladder the lining this thing is lined well also or drilled, you know, slotted. It's got like four slots in here and two down here. 
grilled. So very close to that ladder type frame. Uh, let's check out the blade stock. So we got jimping on top. Looks like this Avivis is a starts a little thinner. And what do we got here? Got this jimping here, little harpoon. Not a lot for a swedge on the top, but flat grinds. I would definitely say this one does come thinner. You got the move up. You got this curvature. Reminds me of my Sen Cut uh, Actium. So check out that knife. Uh, when you hold it back here, see how it comes into your palm. And if you want to move up, it kind of goes into your palm. Uh, so your hand is on top like that. And that's what your Actium does. And that's, that's nice. So um, until before, I guess, uh, I worked this one. Ooh. Took it apart and put it back together, a little bit of, tiny bit of KPL. I was definitely um, going for the brazen. Um, but now, boy, that action makes a nice difference, that sliciness of that thin, thin blade. Uh, does have, in my opinion, quite a long pocket clip. And uh, I think it could put on a Civivi. Or, well, actually, no. This one only has this one screw. So, you're stuck with that pocket clip. Um, it's a little bit bigger overall with the handle. Uh, carries nicely. So, if I had to pick a winner, I think I like the brazen. Um, the brazen, just in your hand, it is, it does, it's kind of more forces you into that one position, but it's so comfortable. Uh, and it's usually about $10 cheaper. I feel the pocket clip a little bit. And um, it's, it's not uncomfortable, but just want to point that out. So I'm going to show you those slotting on the internal milling if you can see that. Yeah, kind of so. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this one up as well. Boom.